The next tab is the Operations tab. This tab allows you to redefine keyboard shortcuts, store these settings in a user configuration file, and define additional search paths for content. The first area is called Mouse Trackpad Configuration. This area allows you to mimic a right click if using a Mac mouse or touchpad using the control and left mouse button. The next area is called Keyboard Shortcuts. This area lets you create new or alternate shortcuts for various commands. Typically, we usually leave this at default. Only advanced users go through here and change these keyboard mappings. If you're trying to learn view, I would definitely not change anything here because a lot of the user manuals and tutorials you'll find will use these default settings. User configuration files. Keyboard settings can be stored in a user configuration file. This allows for several people to work on the same computer with different shortcut mappings. And of course, this is also left at default. View Content Folder. This allows you to change the location of your View Content Folder. If you wish to use your own custom content, you can change the location of the Content Folder. Every time you right-click to load a plant from the library, it will go to this location. So let's just say that your View Content Folder happens to be located in a different place other than C View 11 Infinite. You can just choose Edit and then relocate where your View Content is at. Just basically map it to a different location. The next one is Image Viewer. You can set the program you wish to view your images with such as Photoshop. And then the next area, the last area, is called Additional Texture Map Folders. You can specify the location of different texture maps in this area. So let's just say you don't have everything in C View 11 Infinite you may have some stuff that maybe is located in additional maybe on an additional hard drive or in some other location. If you have a custom library for a particular project you're working on this is a place to have it map automatically. So an example would be you have your scene assets located in your projects directory located in for example Marlet Park or something. Otherwise you'll have to navigate to the path each time you want to use the custom texture maps. These tutorials will use Vue's standard libraries that ship with Vue, so I'm pretty much not going to use any custom ones. If I do, I'll show you how to make the custom ones, but for the most part, I'll use the ones that pretty much come packaged with Vue.